Hey guys, it's Tricky Nick here. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe has a massive character roster, including over 40 characters. Despite this huge roster, the next Mario Kart game could really improve the roster. Since the new Mario Kart game grows more and more likely as time goes on, I've decided to talk about 60 characters that I want to see in Mario Kart 9. Please note that I will not be going too in depth on each character as I have a lot of characters to get through. I also may put some characters into small groups because they are similar and I want to see them for the same reasons. Furthermore, this video is based on my opinion, so if you have anything you disagree with, let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see more Nintendo content, be sure to like and subscribe. Anyways, let's begin. Obviously we're starting with Mario because Mario Kart wouldn't be Mario Kart without him. Next we have Luigi, Princess Peach, Princess Daisy, Princess Rosalina, Yoshi, Wario, and Waluigi. These characters have been in the last few games and are core characters in the Mario franchise. Moving on from those core characters, we have Large Yoshi. Large Yoshi is more of a meme than an actual character, but I would think it would be just so funny to have him in the game as like maybe even just a variant of Yoshi if not its own character. After that we have Birdo. Birdo unfortunately lost his spot after Mario Kart Wii, but I think he should be brought back for Mario Kart 9. The next little group of characters is Toad, Toadette, and Toadsworth. Toad and Toadette are common characters, but Toadsworth would be a new addition to the series. Toadsworth usually doesn't get large roles, so it would be nice to see him as a playable character. After them we have Shy Guy. Since Shy Guy has so many color options, he is always a refreshing addition to use. Then we have Goomba and Koopa Troopa. Koopa Troopas are old news and they even have courses based on them, but Goombas? That's completely new. How would he drive you ask? His feet of course. Having a Goomba try to drive is really goofy and I'd really like to see it. Once again we have another small group of characters, Bowser, Dry Bowser, Bowser Jr, and Koopa Kid. The first three are relatively common in Mario Kart, but Koopa Kid is never seen in Mario Kart and is barely seen in any other games. I really want to see this character because of how obscure he is. Next I have Kamek or Magic Koopa. This character was actually supposed to be in Mario Kart 64, but was scrapped for reasons unknown. This character is long overdue in the game, and for that he needs to be added. Then we have Boom Boom and Pom Pom. The reason why I want these characters is because they are very similar to the Koopalings, who have already been added to Mario Kart 8. After that we have Mario Kart 7 exclusive characters Honey Queen and Wiggler. Bringing back these characters in Glorious HD would be really nice to see, as I use them very frequently in Mario Kart 7. Next we have Nabbit, an enemy that you chase in New Super Mario Bros U. Since this character's whole mechanic is based on racing him, he would fit right in for Mario Kart 9. After Nabbit, we have the Koopalings. These characters were added in Mario Kart 8, and I absolutely love them. They all have their own unique personalities, and there is one for every weight class. I know many people think that they are just junky filler characters, but I really like to use them, especially Morin. Similar to the Koopalings, the Brutals would also be a great addition to the character roster for Mario Kart 9. This group of rabbits is basically the 3D Mario versions of the Koopalings, and they appear in one of the best games of all time, Super Mario Odyssey. Then we have Double Dash exclusive PD Piranha. PD Piranha is another great boss from Super Mario Sunshine, and seeing his fantastic return would be amazing. Next we have my favorite Mario Kart character, Drybones. Drybones needs to be in the game. Enough said. Coming up is another enemy I like and have done a video on, Spike. This little guy is so adorable and he is loved by me and my friends. After Spike comes Plessy, the character in Super Mario 3D World that gave me my favorite levels in the game. The big dinosaur has an even bigger heart and needs to be playable. One of Super Mario Odyssey's most iconic moments is when Pauline sings with Mario as he defeats Donkey Kong in 2D. Pauline's addition to Mario Kart is long overdue as all other iconic females in the Mario series have been put into the game already. Our next small group is the DK Crew. This group includes Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, Dixie Kong, Cranky Kong, Funky Kong, and Donkey Kong Jr. Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong are pretty common, so seeing them in Mario Kart 9 wouldn't be a huge shock. But Dixie Kong and Cranky Kong would be completely new. 
Once again, I like the obscurity of these characters in racing games, and I'd like to see them added. Then we have the glorious and long-awaited turn of Donkey Kong Jr. and the unofficial face of Mario Kart, Funky Kong. These characters have waited so long in the shadows to return, more so Donkey Kong Jr., and they need to come back. Next we have the little Mario Kart arcade section of the roster, containing Pac-Man and Mrs. Pac-Man. While these arcade games aren't the best, I, th I think Bandai Namco deserves for their characters to appear in the home console Mario Kart games. Then we have Rob, the hardest character to obtain in Mario Kart DS. Rob actually saved the NES and gaming itself, so I think he deserves to be a part of what he created. After that we have Cappy, who changed the way we look at Mario's hat in Super Mario Odyssey. Since he feels like he is a main character in the Mario series after Super Mario Odyssey, I think he should join the roster for Mario Kart 9. You may not have noticed, but the Piantas have been waiting for so long to become a racer. For years, they have been forced to watch Mario and his friends race from Delfino Plaza and other various courses, so they should finally be given their chance to race. Yet another character who has literally had to sit down and watch racers from Rosalina's car is Luma. It's time for Luma to race too! One of the most obscure characters in Mario Party is Ballyhoo from Mario Party 8. If this wacky guy was added to Mario Kart 9, he would probably become instantly my favorite racer. I, I even have a poster of him on my wall. I mean, he's great. While this character is also obscure, many Nintendo fans want him to appear in Mario Kart just based on how adorable he is. If you don't know who I'm referring to, his name is Whittle, and he's a small adorable wooden creature who needs to join the roster. Finally, we are ending with a group from the Luigi's Mansion 3 cast, consisting of Gooigi, King Boo, Professor Egad, and Helen Gravely. Having these characters keeps the Mario theme of the game while also including characters from other amazing and fantastic games by Nintendo. So, now that I went through all the characters, I'll show you guys how the roster would look. So without further ado, here it is. I know this roster probably sparks a few questions about characters I did not include. The babies and metal characters would be put as selectable options for each character they pertain to, so don't worry about them, they're still included. But the most controversial part of my roster is that it lacks any Zelda, Splatoon, and Animal Crossing characters. This is for one big reason, which is the name of the game, Mario Kart. This game started out with only Mario characters, and I think it should stay that way. I know many of you are probably thinking about how Donkey Kong and Luigi's Mansion aren't Mario games, but hear me out. The only reason either series exists is because of Mario. If Mario had not fought Donkey Kong with the help of Luigi, none of them would have existed to make game series based off of each of them, whereas things like Zelda and Animal Crossing never got involved with Mario. So, to sum up my point, I personally believe that adding characters from games that don't involve Mario goes against the nature of Mario Kart. Adding characters from all sorts of different games would actually be Nintendo Kart, not really Mario Kart, which I will cover in another video. But until then, I'm Tricky Nick, and I will see you guys in the next one.